Voyager 1. Humanity's farthest reach far beyond the planets, past the warmth of the sun, there drifts a machine unlike any other. It does not orbit Earth. It does not circle a star. It does not belong to any world. It travels silently through the void between suns, a lone messenger from another age. That traveler is Voyager 1. Launched on September 5, 1977, by NASA, Voyager 1 has gone farther than any human creation in history. Today, it is more than 22 billion kilometers from home. It races outward at over 61,000 kilometers per hour, escaping the solar system with every passing moment. And yet, beyond its speed, Voyager carries something greater, meaning. Built with the technology of the 1970s, no GPS, no artificial intelligence, no touchscreens, its computer power is less than that of a modern digital watch. Still, it survives. It still whispers across a gulf so immense that its faint signal, powered by a transmitter weaker than a household light bulb, takes more than 22 hours to arrive on Earth. Caught by giant antennas of NASA's Deep Space Network, those signals remind us that Voyager is alive, still teaching us. The alignment that made it possible Voyager's story began not with its launch, but with a discovery in the 1960s. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, an engineer named Gary Flandro noticed something extraordinary. The outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, would align between 1977 and 1980 in a formation that happens only once every 176 years. This created a rare opportunity. Using the technique of gravity assist, a spacecraft could slingshot from planet to planet, gaining speed and changing course without burning fuel. It was like finding a natural highway through the solar system. To seize the chance, NASA launched two probes. Voyager 2 on August 20, 1977, and Voyager 1 just 15 days later. The launched second, Voyager 1's faster route allowed it to overtake its twin. The original plan was simple, a four-year mission to Jupiter and Saturn. What followed changed planetary science forever. Revealing the giants in 1979, Voyager 1 reached Jupiter. For the first time, humanity saw the giant planet up close, massive storm systems, violent weather, and the famous Great Red Spot revealed as a swirling tempest larger than Earth. Jupiter's immense magnetic field stretched millions of kilometers into space. But the real surprise came from its moon Io. Voyager's instruments revealed something no one expected, volcanoes erupting with molten sulfur, the first proof of active volcanism beyond Earth. A year later, Voyager reached Saturn. It unveiled delicate ring structures invisible from Earth, discovered new moons, and studied powerful weather systems. Its most haunting target, however, was Titan. Shrouded in a thick orange haze, Titan's atmosphere was denser than Earth's and hinted at chemistry that could one day lead to life. The outer solar system was no longer a frozen wasteland, it was dynamic, complex, alive. The machine that wouldn't quit Voyager 1 is about the size of a small car. Its memory is only 68 kilobytes, and its data is stored on magnetic tape. Its power comes from a nuclear battery that converts the heat of decaying plutonium into electricity. Slowly, that power is fading. Instruments have been shut down one by one to conserve energy. And yet, against all odds, Voyager continues to transmit, studying solar winds, magnetic fields, plasma, and cosmic rays as it drifts farther from the sun. Crossing the boundary. In 2012, decades after launch, Voyager 1 crossed a frontier scientists had only dreamed of, the edge of the sun's influence, known as the heliopause. At 121 astronomical units from Earth, it became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. The crossing was not simple. Charged particles from the sun suddenly vanished, replaced by a flood of galactic radiation. 
But the magnetic field remains strangely consistent, puzzling scientists. The boundary of the solar system turned out not to be a clean edge, but a turbulent and shifting frontier. Beyond it, Voyager detected plasma waves and cosmic phenomena no one had ever measured before. The Endless Journey Voyager 1 now sails toward the Oort Cloud, a vast, invisible sphere of icy fragments that forms the solar system's outermost boundary. This region is so large that sunlight is little more than a faint memory, and the frozen objects drifting there may hold secrets from the birth of our star, 4.5 billion years ago. To cross this expanse will take Voyager 30,000 years, an entire chapter of cosmic time. By then, Earth itself may look nothing like the world that launched it. Civilizations may rise and fall. Languages may vanish. Even continents may shift their shapes. Or perhaps, in some distant age, our planet may be silent. Yet Voyager will remain, continuing its pilgrimage through the darkness, untouched by the fragility of worlds. Bolted to its side is a treasure unlike any other, the Golden Record. This is not just a piece of metal, but a voice of Earth. Crafted under the guidance of Carl Sagan and his team, it carries greetings in 55 languages, the sounds of rain and wind, of waves breaking on a shore, of birdsong and human laughter. It holds music that spans continents and centuries, from Bach and Beethoven to the rhythms of distant cultures. Alongside the sounds are images, DNA spirals, the anatomy of the human body, a mother cradling her child, forests, deserts, mountains, and cities aglow with light. It is, in every sense, a portrait of Earth. Not merely for the hypothetical alien who may one day discover it, but for us. For future generations. For the universe itself. It says simply, we were here. We lived. We dreamed. And we dared to send our voice into the stars. A fading signal, a lasting legacy but every journey has limits, even one that spans eternity. Voyager's power comes from its radioisotope generator, which slowly converts the heat of decaying plutonium into electricity. Year by year, that power dwindles. Instruments are switched off one by one. Cameras long ago went dark. Soon, even the faint pulse of its transmitter will fade. By around 2030, its voice, after decades of speaking across the void, will fall silent. And yet, silence is not an ending. Even when Earth can no longer hear it, Voyager will continue its voyage into interstellar space. It will wander among the stars for billions of years, longer than humanity itself is likely to endure, longer than Earth itself may survive. Long after the sun has expanded into a red giant, consuming the inner planets, Voyager will still be out there, unchanged, indestructible, drifting in the cosmic sea. Voyager is more than machinery. It is a symbol of us at our best, of human curiosity, resilience, and hope. It reminds us that while we are fragile and small, our questions reach farther than our bodies ever could. That even in the emptiness between stars, we dare to leave behind a trace of who we are. And so, Voyager continues to ask, silently, endlessly, what lies beyond the horizon? What mysteries remain unseen? And in the vast theater of the universe, who are we, really? The human story among the stars if Voyager's journey inspires you, share its story. Let others know that, right now, a spacecraft launched by human hands nearly half a century ago is still out there, racing between the stars. Its golden record carries the heartbeat of Earth, the laughter of children, the sound of thunder, the whisper of wind through trees. It is humanity's time capsule, humanity's calling card, humanity's dream. And even if no one ever finds it, the act of sending it matters. For it proves that in a small corner of the cosmos, there lived a species that looked up at the night sky and asked, What's out there?